Imagine unlocking the secrets of the universe through your crown chakra, stepping into a world where communication with spirits and glimpsing the future becomes second nature. In this hypnotic journey, in this hypnotic journey, I'll guide you through the shadows of doubt and fear and into the activation of a brilliant light of your own psychic potential. Are you ready to transcend the limits of your mind and embrace the extraordinary abilities that may lie dormant within you? I'm Christelle Arcucci, and I'm on a mission to upgrade your experience with your body, pleasure, and power. Learn more about my work at EmbodySoulPurpose.com. You're listening to the Desire Sessions podcast, the lightning path to discover your desires and clear what's blocking you from receiving. Asking for what you want and receiving unapologetically is a revolutionary act. It's time to be the one you're looking for. This healing and hypnotic audio journey is designed to restore your nervous system so you can enjoy personal power. It's ideal that you're listening in a place that you can relax and receive. I'm excited that this is the seventh week of the Ecstatic Empath series. If you'd like to receive all of the resources from the entire free Ecstatic Empath series, visit Ecstatic Empath and enter your name and email. Place your hands gently on the crown of your head. Feel the way your hands are touching your head and your head is touching your hands. Deepen and expand your breath and visualize a radiant violet light and lotus expanding, rising up from the center of your head connecting you with the infinite wisdom of the cosmos. As you exhale, set the intention to open your mind to the extraordinary possibilities of mediumship and precognition, allowing your higher self to guide you on this transformative journey. And now let's explore the depths of human potential and spiritual awakening through this hypnotic journey to activate your crown chakra and unlock the hidden realms of mediumship and clairvoyant precognition. By tapping into these advanced intuitive abilities, you can bridge the gap between the physical and spiritual worlds, gaining profound insights that can transform your life and the lives of others. Join me as we navigate the challenges and shadows that may arise, ultimately empowering you to embrace your innate gifts with confidence and clarity. The seventh chakra, crown chakra, also called the Sahasrara in Sanskrit, is crucial in psychic development and intuition for several reasons. It acts as our spiritual antenna, allowing us to receive and transmit information from higher dimensions and collective consciousness. When fully activated, the crown chakra dissolves the illusion of separation, enabling us to access universal knowledge and wisdom beyond our individual experiences. This energy center helps integrate spiritual insights with our logical mind, facilitating a more holistic understanding of psychic phenomenon and intuitive impressions. The crown chakra plays a vital role in expanding our consciousness beyond the limitations of the ego, which is essential for developing advanced psychic abilities like mediumship and precognition. Making your physical body as comfortable and supported as possible. Allow your breath to move in and out of your body without resistance. Feel your attention settling into your body, into your heart, into your belly, aligned with the power of your mind, settling and going deeper and deeper within, relaxing your face and jaw, relaxing your chest and upper back, relaxing and softening your belly and hips, legs. Feel yourself profoundly supported in this moment and presence 
filling your entire system and your environment. Imagine yourself walking into a magical elevator that looks like a spaceship. You are going down, down, down. And at the same time, your consciousness is connecting up, up, up. The deeper you go, the higher your awareness can reach into infinity. So as you see this magical elevator moving in, moving deeper, accessing the deep ground of being and experience of the core of the earth, as you go deeper, your awareness reaches higher connected by a golden channel of light, your central channel that moves through, aligns, and activates all seven main chakras, as well as the chakras above and below. Your entire body, mind, and being is more centered, more attuned, to your central channel than ever before. You are relaxed, present, and open. You feel the great power of all of the elements below. Air, fire, water, earth, and the infinity of space and ether above. You notice You can hold your consciousness up infinitely high, coming from a place of grounded presence below. You recognize that we are working on the crown chakra and that all of the work we have done before this journey has transformed you and built an incredibly powerful embodied experience of presence, power, and peace. And you feel more ready than ever to expand your capacity to open and receive through your crown chakra. You recognize and realize that the monkey mind will always try to play tricks on you and distract you from the powerful work of being yourself, of utilizing your power on all levels. Yet you recognize the monkey mind more easily. You are actually starting to be entertained by the monkey mind's antics rather than being frustrated, annoyed, or distracted. Mmm, from deep inside your belly, you hear a voice that says, not my monkeys, not my circus. And you carry on with your practice of relaxing, grounding, and opening. You are noticing in your life that you are experiencing greater trust in your own embodied intuition, receiving the power of your innate psychic gifts, and also opening channels of access to gifts you didn't realize you had access to. This journey of moving through the chakras and the psychic gifts has changed your life And you know that this journey, opening the crown, clearing the energy channel from deep within to infinitely high above, will support your healing and awakening in a beautiful way. You trust your journey and your human experience. And you know as with all of the chakras and psychic gifts, that having clear boundaries, being clear, grounded, and protected will support you. And you have developed those skills over our time together. 
So now your fear, concern, or doubt about mediumship or precognition is much less than ever before. You feel, see, sense, and know that you can access any information when it's in service to the greater good. You also know that you don't have to get it right. It won't be perfect or flawless at any point. Yet the more you are willing to open the channels, to receive, practice, make offerings, and consciously close the channel, you are building your spiritual strength and guidance system. You feel your attention drawn to this golden channel of light. And around this golden core, you see different layers and colors surrounding the golden channel. Noticing whatever color you see surrounding the channel going from deep within the earth to high above and on the outer edge of the colors you may see, you may not see. Either way is perfectly fine. There is a powerful channel of white light protecting the divine guidance and embodied humanity that you are cultivating this column of white light and protection is being held by your angels, guides, and your higher self. And while it doesn't mean you won't be tested, distracted, or fall down, ultimately you are held in the divine expression of your soul's journey guided by spiritual wisdom of the ages and now practicing traveling in this central channel of golden light, moving your attention to the center of the heart and traveling down to your feet in this golden central channel, holding the attention in your feet as you travel to the top of your head. And can you easily expand below your feet, above your head, by one foot, by maybe ten feet in both directions? You may notice your energy expands easily above and below through this channel of golden light. You may notice your system feels more comfortable in this moment, holding the edges at your feet and at your crown knowing that just like your breath, your energy body can expand with ease and you can always come back to the center in your heart. If you feel overwhelmed at any point during this journey or in your practices of cultivating mediumship and precognition, if you find your system is getting overwhelmed, distracted, or you feel any level of discomfort, come back to the center in your heart. Bring your attention to the movement of your breath and then gently expand your attention and your energy body more slowly, checking in at each stage. Many spiritual practitioners can go way out into the infinity, yet often that practice has been a practice of dissociating from the physical body. So as we are cultivating these embodied intuition practices, you want to stay connected to your physical body, not looking to escape your humanness, but to build the bridge between your human life experience, your soul, and your infinite spirit. So while a part of your consciousness may be able to launch into the outer ethers, 
if you have the feeling that you don't want to come back or you feel disoriented about navigating your human life, progress more slowly in moving outward so that you are building the strength of the central channel so that your core power is expanding your ability to travel great distances with full presence and attention. Deepening your crown chakra connection means that you are deepening your presence and power in this silence, stillness, and emptiness of the pause, cultivating clearing and connecting more deeply with the power of your crown chakra as an access point to the infinite wisdom of the cosmos. You are simultaneously deepening your power and presence in silence, in stillness, in emptiness, in the pause, being able to hold your presence and attention in the soundless stillness of infinity, which is ever expanding, and being able to hold that capacity and profound power of infinity means being able to hold the void, the emptiness, the soundless space before creation, before creative energy flows and moves. You begin noticing your capacity to hold the stillness and soundless space, perhaps just one more second at a time. You find yourself reaching less for distractions, You find yourself less interested in places, people, activities that are merely cause for distracting you from your soul assignment. You are building your capacity to wait, to be ready, and to fine-tune alignment, following the energy of creativity and wisdom of infinity integrated with human experience deep within, infinitely high above, presence inside your central channel of golden light from your feet to your hips to your heart to your crown, gently expanding above and below being able to come back easily and gracefully into the center and the hips, the heart, the head, the feet, the crown, embodied intelligence, infinite wisdom inside, below, and above. Opening the crown chakra holds great responsibility and without Strengthening your physical, mental, emotional bodies, your soul and spirit, it can cause problems. Yet you are committed to building the solid foundation, to expanding from your human being and presence, infinitely deep within your soul mission, connected to the infinite power of your spirit and the intelligence of creation. And in this moment inside the golden channel, you see there are dials where you can turn the channel to any information that you desire, knowing that in this command central, you can tune the dial to information that is invading someone's personal space. Yet you will choose to use this knowledge with integrity, turning the dial, tuning in to channels that are freely and fully broadcasting from infinity. 
so many master teachers are ready, willing, and available. Angels, guides, your ancestors, your future selves, waiting with generous open hearts and minds to bestow grace upon your system. So engaging in any channels which are forbidden doesn't interest you. The cost is too great. You cannot access forbidden channels without great cost. And in this moment, you recognize how you want to use and strengthen your physical body and being. How to choose to live love, and activate your psychic gifts and intuitive powers in service to the greater good, aligned with embodied love and divine play. The choice is easy, and if your monkey mind gets fixated on what is forbidden and why that is interesting and tempting, come back to your physical body and presence clear your energy, ground yourself, and reconnect to your purpose, knowing that everything that you are doing is aligning with embodied love, or it is fueling other timelines of fear, disease, unrest, while fear will happen no matter what. You get to choose in every moment to continue to align with love. Amplifying the strength and power of your physical, mental, emotional bodies. You have the power to turn the channel, to tune in to so much wisdom that can help humanity, that can support your journey, your loved ones, your community, and the greater good. And this is how you choose to cultivate your gifts of mediumship and clairvoyant precognition. The choice is easy. The temptation is always there. You may make mistakes, and in each moment you can realign. No matter what anyone tells you, you can always realign to the timeline you want to be on. (sighs) Ah... Utilizing your gift of being a medium, a channel for information from the spirit realm, from your ancestors, from other ancestors, from master teachers, divine beings. You utilize this in service to the highest good. In opening the channels for precognition, for seeing the future, for seeing, feeling, sensing, knowing the future. This practice demands your capacity to hold love. No matter what you are seeing, you may also feel fear, but you must stay grounded in love and a willingness to see the infinity of humanity and how all things are part of the divine play, the expression of infinite consciousness coming into being. Seeing the future continues to be an invitation to keep the unhealthy ego in check, to keep the monkey mind in check, so that your clear channel can support the greatest good, embodied love and divine play. And you bring your attention back, all the way back to the golden channel, from your feet to your crown. Each one of the chakras illuminated, spinning as a wheel with balanced, clear power in service to yourself and the highest good. Opening the crown opens the gateway to infinity, going as slowly as you need to to maintain the solid foundation 
in the six main chakras below the crown, anchored in your foundation of earth, water, fire, air, then connecting to the infinity of space and ether, knowing that your humanness will never do it perfectly. That is by design. And now bringing your awareness to the crown of your head and the base of your spine, the root and the crown, and feeling as if there is a powerful capsule, a golden light surrounded by silver, rose, amber, indigo, violet, then finally encased in white light, the golden capsule of your seven main chakras, a vehicle for transformation, for understanding, for human awakening, and bringing your awareness and attention back to your breath, feeling your body more fully and completely, feeling what you are resting on, feeling that you have accessed infinite power, and continuing to bring yourself more fully back into this time and place. Transitioning into the self-inquiry questions. Reflect on a time when you felt deeply connected to something greater than yourself. How did this experience influence your beliefs about your ability to receive guidance from higher realms? And how can you cultivate this connection to support your current desires? What limiting beliefs or fears arise when you consider fully embracing your psychic gifts, such as mediumship or clairvoyant precognition? How might reframing these beliefs empower you to trust in your innate abilities and use them to create the life you envision? How do you currently perceive the relationship between your logical mind and your intuitive insights? In what ways can integrating these aspects of yourself enhance your ability to manifest your dreams? Consider a future scenario that you've envisioned through clairvoyant precognition. How does this vision align with your current beliefs and desires? What steps can you take to bring this potential reality into your present experience? When you tap into the universal consciousness through your crown chakra, what new perspectives or possibilities emerge? How can embracing these expanded viewpoints shift your belief and actions to better align with the life you wish to manifest? And now, beginning to move your fingers and toes, arching and rounding your spine and neck deepening your breath and bringing even more of your attention into the present moment and gently fluttering open your eyes, receiving the lights, the colors, the textures, the objects and information in the room that you are in. Thank you for being a part of the pleasure-led movement. I'm honored to support your embodied spiritual awakening I want to extend a special invitation to our women listeners over 40. If you're a spiritual woman that is lit up by the exploration of embodied intuition and you're wondering if there's more to life after 40, I have a special invitation for you. I've created the Adventurous Aging Journey designed specifically for women who are ready to redefine what's possible. It's not just about fitness, it's about reconnecting with your body's wisdom, aligning with your soul purpose, and embracing a life full of vitality and adventure. You can sign up for this series or book a clarity call at adventurous-aging.com. Let's discover how you can embody freedom and live a life that excites you every single day. Life doesn't stop at 40. The best is yet to come. I'm excited to work with you. Leave a review and follow on your favorite podcast app. I believe in you and the magic power of your soul. I'm sending you so much love.